Hello, so I've just got a set of uh, Naga bowls. It's a 12 piece set for all the chakras, the main chakras plus the smaller chakras going up the, the central channel. It's actually the first time I've managed to get a set of uh, medium sized Naga bowls um, because the, the medium size and the small size are actually very rare. That's E. Most of these are in the six octave. So what's interesting is I've just put together um, a fifth octave set where the majority of the bowls are fifth octave. These are mostly six octave and the small bowls are um, seventh octave. So it would be possible to have an octavized set. This one is C sharp. Some of these, they, they vary quite a lot in, so that's in weight. So this one has a, an amazingly long sustain because it's slightly thicker and it's very, very bell shaped. So that's particularly nice, really, really beautiful bell. That's a D sharp in the six octave. So one of the things that's particularly nice about these Naga bowls is that you've got a base that you can hold on to. And they're very, very long sustain as well. So when they, they, when they were originally called Naga Bowls, uh, we thought they were coming from Naga Land and they were extraordinarily rare. I've since found that they're coming from uh, Bangladesh and they have an old Bangladeshi dialect, which I've not managed to translate yet. So this bowl has had writing in very small little dots, uh, sort of punched in all the way along, and then this decorative rim. That's a uh, G5. So, sound therapists particularly like Naga bowls because you can move them over the client. You can, if someone's laying down, you can move them over the person. If they're sitting in a seat like this, you can move them. And then people also use them for space clearing. So they'll they'll do like a feng shui space clearing where they'll wave the sound into the into the room or around the house or in, over the land and they listen very carefully to the way the sound is vibrating into the space. It's very nice to have a, a set because if you're working doing healing work um, you can line them up along the chakras and then work over the person. So these are Naga bowls are one of my favourites because you have this sort of handle on the bottom and they have a very long sustain because they're bell shaped and uh, this is actually the first time I've managed to get a set of um, medium sized Naga bowls because the, the lar larger ones are still fairly rare but these ones are really rare and the small ones even rarer. So I was very lucky to find these in the collection of a, a, a big singing bowl dealer and he'd been gathering them together for many years, I think four or five years. And uh, I was in his warehouse and I, I suddenly found these and I, I, had it, I bought everything he had. And out of that I managed to make this, this one set and actually one set of the small bowls. And later I managed to find a set of the big ones as well. Very, very loud and strong sound. This one has writing along here in a Bangladeshi dialect. And most of these are in the sixth octave. This is fifth octave. But the majority of the medium size are sixth octave. And the small ones that I've got are mostly in seventh octave. And most of the bigger bowls are in fifth octave. It's a very versatile, lovely set. One of the things you can do when you have a, 
you have different octaves of bowls is when the same notes struck in di different octaves will make a sort of um, harmonic between them so you get this sort of lovely wow 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 type of an effect um, So these are, uh, I'm filming from Kathmandu and these are about to go off to England and uh, to some lucky, lucky recipient. Thank you.